The question is asking, what is the percentage composition by mass of carbon in C6H12O6, which we'll call a glucose? Although depending on how the atoms are arranged, some molecular formula could be a galactose or a fructose. Okay, to answer this question, we first have to calculate the mass of carbon in our compound. And then we'll find the ratio of that mass to the mass of the entire compound. So let's calculate the mass of our carbon. As we can see from our periodic table, the atomic mass of carbon is 12. And we have six atoms of carbon in our glucose. So we would multiply six by our atomic mass of 12 to get 72 atomic mass units just for our carbon. Okay, so now let's calculate the mass of our glucose. To do this, we're gonna to have to calculate the mass of each of the elements that are in the compound, and then we'll add those all together. So let's take a look and see what we have. We know we have six atoms of carbon with an atomic mass of 12. Our hydrogen has an atomic mass of one and we have 12 hydrogen. So 12 times one would give us the atomic mass of all of our hydrogen. Oxygen has an atomic mass of 16 and we have six atoms of oxygen. So if we add that all together, we have 180 atomic mass units for our glucose. We're trying to find the percentage composition of our carbon compared to our glucose. So basically, we just want to calculate the ratio of our carbon to our whole compound. So if we divide that, we get 0 0.4, which of course, as a percentage, once we multiply by 100, would give us 40%. So the carbon here is accounting for 40% of the weight of our whole glucose.